issue because I believe that this is a cooperative that all Filipino online professionals own, controlled, and managed. Well, the reason why I'm focused on my list is PAPS. We need to have a system that can help the people who can help the people. This cooperative is a group na pwede silang sumama para mas magabayan sila sa kanilang freelancing journey. Ako sumali dihan sa PAPS ko kasi para makabulig ako sa ato kapwa mga freelancers and ito talaga ang passion and my mission. Kaya I joined PAPS ko kasi for me, lahat ng ginagawa ko sa PAPS ko is ang privilege to siya tinitignan eh. Kasi once in a lifetime in history na bigyan ka ng chance na mag-contribute. Nothing strong na rin ko pa maabot yung goal ko. The vision of the organization aligns with my personal vision which is to develop and nurture an organization within Zamboanga City that provides much needed support for our online workers. I joined FOPSCO because the people I've met have the same values, vision, and mission as mine, and that is to provide assistance to those who would like to jumpstart their career as a freelancer. One of the reasons why I joined uh, FOPSCO is um, <clears throat> because so as a freelancer, I think it's important for us to have access to training, whether free or paid. We wanted our individual reputations to have a collective reputation for excellence. We wanted to be part of an organization that would be a pioneer group of individuals who will be working to promote online freelancing here in the Philippines. So now I joined this organization is that I saw their mission and vision towards helping all Filipino freelancers. I choose FAPSCO because we learn and grow as a community to help also others. Feel more safe and secure knowing that my knowledge and skills will only come from the most renowned and experienced online freelancers and that here in the Philippines. I joined FAPSCO because I saw the potential growth is not just reaching one's goals and being successful, but there is camaraderie. I am very inspired with their achievements and advocacy in promoting and helping Filipino freelance. One to join FAPSCO because um, number one, I want to help freelancers to get a job. And number two, I want to learn more from you. We grow, we grow together. together. So you need to turn on your cameras. So that's a big, big yes. We really are growing together. So welcome and hello to our webinar tonight entitled How to Improve Your English Speaking Skills. So again, this webinar is for our FOPSCO members, DICD graduates and aspirant freelancers who want to upskill, explore, and acquire new skills when it comes to freelancing or the online professional industry. Of course, this wouldn't be possible without the collaboration and the partnership of the Pioneer and the FAPSCO or the Filipino Online Professional Service Cooperative. So I'm Dennis B. Pagio. I'll be your moderator for tonight. And let me just remind you of our house rule. First, please put your phone on silence mode and mute unnecessary noise that can interfere our webinar. And we are also seeking for your active participation with this session. And of course, our Q&A will follow after the presentation of our speaker for tonight. So I guess everything is set up now. Let me call on Ms. Angelic Pedroso. Hello, good evening, Angelic. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi, Naomi Adia. Hi, Miss Angelique. 
Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Good Please, Ange, uh, Ms. Anjali, Ayan. take the presenter's mic to introduce our speaker. Thank you, sir. Then, Go ahead. our speaker is the graduate of business at business business administration major in entrepreneurial marketing. She also a bubbly and energetic woman who loves freelancing, an ESL teacher, social media marketer. She's also a RIS graduate, turned to be an assistant trainer on the recent DICT DJT, along with batches trainer, Digital Davoenas, Jessica Marie Madrazo. Join her as she share her eight years plus of experience as an ESL teacher at ITOC. Without further further Kira Sahara Takuhan. Yeah. Yes. Hello, good Hello, evening. Ms. Hi, Sir Dennis. Hi, Hi Mo. Hi, Ms. Kira. Good evening. <laughs> Welcome to Papsco Academy. Finally, you're here. Yes, finally. <laughs> Iba, iba Thank pala you very talaga, much. no? Pag nandito, iba yung feel, iba yung ambience. <laughs> All right. So, um, good evening to everyone and to those who are actually watching on Facebook Live and, yes, those who are present here on Zoom. So, good evening. Um, once again, I am Kira from Coronado City, South Cotabato, Mindanao. <laughs> so, Yes, so idadagdag ko lang. So I have been teaching online for more than eight years now. And why? Why this topic for this evening? <laughs> because I really love speaking. <laughs> Yun lang. <laughs> so I'm with our, yeah, English, using English, Filipino, and maybe Bisaya and Ilonga. For some to, to explain further, yes, and for the examples. So I know marami ang gusto talaga um, nitong topic na ito. It's it's very simple topic. It's it's a very simple topic, but it's one of the most let's say <laughs> to those who are actually um, working, uh, looking for jobs jobs, students, yes. So, it, so when, when you're, what do you usually feel? So, so, so let me share to you this one. Mm -hmm. So here, yes. So let me, it's this one. Okay, can you see my screen, Sir Dennis? Yes, because yes. your uh, presentation. Yes, Ms. Yeah. Kira, go ahead. All right. Okay. So, as I said, this is a very simple. Bakit, bakit naman ito? <laughs> and sometimes, napapaisip din ako, parang, parang ano ba, uh, gaano ba talaga ka-importante ito sa atin? So, actually, speaking is very important because if you want to get noticed if uh, to jobs when you apply, you really need to know how to communicate. And this is not just bias on English. Okay, so in general, regardless if it's in Filipino, if it's in Ilongo, um, Bisaya, you really do need to know how to Communicate with the host <laughs> this evening, attending the highest. Could you please rate it? How comfortable are you when speaking? I think that would be around uh, nine. Nine. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> How about Miss Jellic? <laughs> Let's see. When it comes to English, yeah, I think I. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, 
Ano lang, six lang. Very low talaga. Witness speaking English. I see. Okay, that's that's actually okay. So, I am actually gonna break down. Okay, things this evening. Understood. So I've got two. So yan lang, babalik-balikan lang natin yung dalawa. <laughs> hindi, hindi gaano ang ano. Tatargetin natin lahat-lahat ng mga kaila- aspektong kailangan nating um, malaman para maging komportable tayo sa pagsasalita at magiling, maging magaling tayo, maging mas mahusay tayo sa pananalita. So going back, understand why. Why, Miss Kira? Understand. So, when you are actually communicating, it's a two-way process. Hindi lang ikaw. You're not only talking to yourself, but you have to talk to another person. Okay? So, it's a two-way communication. So, when you try to speak, the question is, does your speaker, uh, does your listener rather understood what you're talking about? And this one, understand. When you are, do you understand? Do you understand what you're actually, uh, when, when, when a foreigner talks to you? It's in the lang. <laughs> so, when we meet foreigners or when we're asked in class by your teacher to speak, do you usually understand? Or merong instances, nangyari na ba na when you're asked a question, you say, can you please repeat the question? Or, I'm sorry, pardon. <laughs> Nangyari na ba sa inyo yan? I would say yes. Um, especially with the way how they are going to deliver their sentence because of their slang. Yung ganon. Yung yeah. part na medyo mahirap may ganyan when it comes to foreign. Yes. Oh, so, same as... Sila. Mm-hmm. Yes, the accent. So, understand. For us to be able to understand what kinahausap natin, here are the following things that we need to consider. Listen. <laughs> so, actually, this is, uh, let, let me um, listen intently. Okay, because we we have the tendency to listen, but we don't really absorb what we're listening to. <laughs> Nakikinig lang tayo pero hindi na talaga natin na naiintindihan or hindi hindi na nagradag. Okay, this is very important because when when somebody is trying to talk to you, you need to listen and not just listen that. Your ears is open, and then you hear the sound. <laughs> Ito talaga, you need to listen to understand not only the words coming out of their mouth, but you need to listen, hearing what the person is saying, and also get a sense of what they are feeling. Because when you you try to understand a person, you need to hear out. Ano ba yung feeling na kinoconvey niya when he's talking? Is he excited? So we need, it's reading between or listening and then trying to understand what they are actually meaning. Okay? It's, it's listening beyond the words. Okay? You're trying to understand how, how are they feeling when they actually tell you something. And also... Um, what they really mean because eh, people can actually say yes, it's okay, it's okay especially you mga <laughs> it's read between the lines <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm actually okay I'm okay
Kayo na may may isagot lang. But then, we are not really listening to understand or to comprehend what they are yes. talking. So, yes. yes. I Again. understand. Mm -hmm. So, Marin and Nakla, I want to add more about this one. So, understand. What are other factors that hindi tayo nakakaintende? We, we have difficulty understanding. It's because sometimes we cannot hear the sound. <laughs> We cannot hear the sound because as you have mentioned earlier, Sir Denison Mongelic, um yung intonation nila, yung accent, yung very long yung pronunciation. So ang brain natin, the, the way the brain functions is it processes the sound that goes in our ears. So if we are not familiar with the sound, there are tendencies that we cannot hear it. So if you cannot hear the sound, you cannot mimic, copy, or sabihin yun. Kasi usually, lumaki tayo na, tinuturoan tayo na, a, 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 yes, those sounds, phonics. So we try to learn the very basic phonics. And hindi natin narinig. Pag hindi narinig ng bata yung sound, sasabihin mong, a, sasabihin ng bata, a, a. No, it's ah. <laughs> so, sasakit lang yung ulo mo pero hindi makukuha ng bata yun. It's because they cannot hear the sound. <laughs> so, my tendency. So, if we are not very familiar with the sounds, like the way, the, the intonation, we cannot hear it, then therefore we cannot understand it. So, that's a very big factor then. If you're not familiar with the sounds and the way they pronounce the words, then you cannot understand <laughs> so move tayo dito. Understood. Yes. yes. So I will give further examples later. Kasi mas maganda kasi you learn yung language pag pinapractice mo talaga siya. <laughs> so understood. Importante maintindihan ka. Maintindihan ka yung pronunciation mo, yung accent mo. So when we are actually trying to speak in English, we need to have a neutral accent. So I keep on mentioning this neutral. Yung hindi naman nat, uh, we're not saying that you should have an American uh, accent or a British accent like hello Peppa. <laughs> no, it's not that. But when we say neutral accent, it's when it's your regional accent like Filipino. Yes, if you're Filipino, if you're Korean, if you're Chinese, it's not evident. Okay, they cannot hear it. Example, because it's a usual um, Manileño or Filipinos. When we try to speak in English, um, yung tono natin, kung papani tayo yung tono natin manalita ng Filipino. Yun din yung nagiging tono ng ating pag english <laughs> Have you experienced that? <laughs> so the so, accent is still there, parang ganun. Yes. yes. So when you're talking that, oh, hello, um, my name is, example, in Ilongo, because I'm in Ilongo. So if if I actually sometimes speak in English before, if, I would say that, oh, how did you notice that I am not American? How did you know that I am not really an English native speaker? Is it with my looks? <laughs> Is it how the way I speak? <laughs> so it's something like that. So if we're, you, we're used to have regional accents like Filipino or Bisaya or Ilongo, we have the tendency to mix. Example, yung konyo is a very good example of mixing. Yung Filipino or yung Visaya or yung Ilongo, ihahalo sa English. Oh, look at them. I, it's, it's so nakakapagod. I, I don't like na. <laughs> so, <laughs> that, that is actually one, one practice, okay, that, that we Filipinos have that affects the intonation and accent when speaking.
So if you try to think in Filipino, then don't expect that when you speak in English, you will sound yeah, neutral <laughs> or you will have American accent. So if you want to be understood, you have to have clarity when speaking. Pronunciation is very important. So the sounds of the letters, those basic things. Okay, napaka importante po yun. <laughs> and here, I will show you a video, okay, to give you my point about this one. Okay. It's a video, it's a commercial video, a very funny one. <laughs> uh, German, it's a German English school. They have this a commercial. And gusto ko talagang ipakita ito for you to uh, really understand kung ano yung point ko when talking. So, can you see this? YouTube channel. Can you understand it? Uh, can, can you hear it rather? Uh, can you? Uh, no sound. Okay. Share sound, no sound? Okay, wait a sec. Oh, no. Okay. Share screen. All right. Here you go. I think this is okay now. <laughs> das hier ist mein Sektor. Das hier ist das wichtigste Gerät des Küstenwächter. Das Gerät und das Gerät. Überlebensradar. Mayday, Mayday. Hello, can you hear us? Can you hear us? Can you... Okay, over. We are sinking. We are sinking. Hello? This is the German Coast Guard. We are sinking. We're sinking. What are you thinking about? <laughs> okay. So. <clears throat> what can you say about the video, Sir Dennis? So I guess there is a big difference between thinking and thinking. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, um, it is. Okay. So this is actually the best, one of the best examples that I can actually show you. Dahil, it, in pronunciation is really important. And as I've said, to be understood and understand. Para... Maintindihan mo yung sinasabi nila dapat. <laughs> uh, familiar ka din with the sounds. Because if you're not, then you're not gonna understand it. So, um, if you've noticed some of the um, countries, they don't have the um, thinking. So, it's thinking. So, in, 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 in some parts in Europe, they don't have TH sound. The th sound so they actually try to replace it with f so instead of saying thinking it becomes thinking so <laughs> what are you thinking about so that they're trying to replace the sound so same as the filipino we filipinos we have the tendency to to replace p we a uh, v with p Yung B natin, nare replace natin. It's because we're not used to using it. So, ganun nang nangyayari. So, here, hindi niya narinig yung TH. So, sinasabi sa kanya, we are stinking, we are stinking. So, ang kanyang narinig is TH. Because in German, they would usually try to slide the sound of TH into S. So, it sounds like stinking. Stinking. <laughs> so, it is very important pronunciation wise talaga for you to have, to be an effective speaker your pronunciation should be um good okay if not excellent so every sound matters so you practice especially um the long and short vowel sounds so these are very important so when you're actually like sit na upo it should be as fast as here. This is the cue. For short vowel sounds, you use your fingers to snap it. So it's an indicator that it's a short sound. Sit, sit, sit. So hindi siya magiging seat. 
sit, sit, sit. And if it's a long vowel sound, try to guide yourself. Example, pool. So you say pool, pool. So there, magkakaroon ka ng clarity. So those little things that you could practice at home, like if it's a short vowel sound, you snap your finger. If it's a long vowel sound, then you extend your hand like this one. So magkakaroon talaga siya ng difference. So sit, 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 pet, sit, cool, cool. So you will, if, if you practice again and again <laughs> doing that, there will, there will be a very big difference when you try to pronounce words. So, yun lang, Sir Dennis and Mom Jellic, it's it's very simple. Yung mga gatong changes lang na gagawin natin sa pananalita natin, it, it will change a lot <laughs> of things. So, yes. mm -hmm. yeah. And another here, kasi Simple, quick tips for accent reduction. Ito talaga. I want. I would want to talk more about this to you guys. If yeah, <laughs> kaya ng ating time. So, gusto ko kasi na pag natapos kayo makinig dito, you can practice on your own, and then mano notice niyo yung difference sa tone niyo when speaking, and when you try to talk, it's more it's clearer. So, simple, quick tips for accent reduction for you guys. So. The usual um, accent that we use is American, American accent. So I'm going to introduce to you the sounds that are very important in American English. So R, S, T, L. So if you will master the R, S, T, L sounds and technique, this tip, if you will follow this, you will notice a very big change on your pronunciation and accent. So, ready na ba? <laughs> if we practice natin to. So, yes. the American R sound, this is, okay, uh, a hard sound. Solid. Okay? And remember, in American English, R is never silent. <laughs> so, ito talaga yung pinaka-simple. R is never silent in American English. So, we don't say ka <laughs> in British, but we pronounce the R sound. So, how to make a solid R sound? So, yung dila nyo, pull it back, iku curl nyo sa likod, making sure that yung dila nyo hindi nagta touch sa upper palate. And then, i hold nyo sa. That's the solid R sound. Kasi pag hindi, pag hindi siya solid, may isang sound pa, yung British R, which is ka, ah. So, it's. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a solid R anymore. And there is what we call rrr, the rolling R sound. So, so American, we don't roll our R. Kagayin, kar. <laughs> so Mexicans and some, yes, in, even in Fili Filipinos, do usually make mistakes by rolling their R sound. So um, when you want to have a very clear R sound, so you should hold it, making sure that it doesn't touch the upper part of your teeth. A, a mouth and then you say her 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 so let's practice <laughs> Siguro, you can repeat after me sir dennis and miss angelic all right <laughs> para makita yung changes so it's start 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 yes another one car 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 yes round car round, round. And another one, round. Rich. <laughs> rich. This is exciting. <laughs> rich, rich, rich. Yes, rich. there you go. So, pag solid yung R sound nyo, the, the sound is very clear. So, your listener can understand you well. Ito. So, mar maraming talaga nako confused nito kasi sometimes we do have a tendency to pronounce S as Z and S as S. So, when? <laughs> Because this is very confusing. So American S sound has two, <laughs> two ways of sounding it. So S S S or the snake sound, as I can say, which is the s. Okay. So like that's the yes, the regular S sound. So when do we use the S sound? So if S isn't in between two vowels. So if hindi na papagit na an ng dalawang vowel si S. It's the regular S sound. So example of words would be. So, ito. So as you can see on the first word, stress, 
So, hindi, uh, nasa, hindi siya nasa gitna ng dalawang vowels. So, E and S. So, it's regular the S sound, which is stress, cast, hoops, samples, lastly, and space. Okay? So, sound pa rin siya, or bath. There you go. So, hindi siya, hindi, siya, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na cast. <laughs> para social, para American accent. No, we just uh, say it as stress, cast, okay? Hoops, sample, lastly, and bath. There you go. So, dito naman. <laughs> American S sound, S, S, Z. So, nagiging Z ang S natin if S is in between two vowels. Kung napapagitnaan yung S ng dalawang vowels, then it will become yes. Z. Okay? So, example. That's why we pronounce, ad instead of saying advertise, we say advertise. Yes. yes. Advertise. Amusement. Amusement. Yes. Disappear. Amusement. Disappear. Advertisement. 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 Positive. 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 Closing. 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 Yes. Getting wow. getting so, jelly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so actually, wala namang mali kung kung sasabihin mo lang talaga siyang advertise, amusement, disappear, advertisement. Tama siya, hindi siya mali. But if you want to be understood by Westerners when you're talking, so sometimes you, if you want to neutralize or at your accent or to follow their accent, then you should do these changes. So here. <laughs> so sa S, maroon tayong dalawang tips. But here, this is um, quite difficult. T. So um, American T sound. So T is T. So if T is the first letter of the word, it's hard and popping. So t, 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 yung ginagawa natin. So, but first letter of the word ay T, popping T sound siya. So, nagiging t, t, teacher, true, tower, tax, tumble, test. So, nagpa-pop siya. T, t, t. Okay, there we go. And another one. So, TS flap sound. So, tinatawag natin sa, uh, tinatawag natin tong flap sound or soft D sound because in linguistics, because it's very fast. Nagpa-flap lang siya. So, parang soft D pero hindi siya D. So, if nangyayari ito, pag yung T is in between two vowels, okay? Or if there's a consecutive T in a word. So let's see the words. So example, when you hear people saying um, water, water, instead of water, we say water. 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 Yeah. Water. So yes, in this case, better. 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 Ability. Better. Yeah. Ability. Ability. Yes. yes, you're speaking ability. He is getting better. <laughs> so computer. Getting computer. Computer. Matter. 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 Yeah. Okay. So flap sound is major mobilis mobilis sha. Yes. Hindi siya D sound. So heater. 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 Okay. So here we're going to connect. Okay. Words. So instead of saying get a, get a. Get a. Get a. Get a. Get a water yeah. bottle. <laughs> get yeah. a water bottle, please. <laughs> okay, another one. Put it on. Put it on. Put it so on. When you, yeah, put, put it on. on. Put it on. Put it on, please. Yes. Great idea. Are. Great eye. Yeah. Put it on. So, nakikita niyo yung T is in Great between idea. two vowels, U and I. So, yeah. And I and O. So, nagiging flap sound siya. So, put it on. Great idea. <laughs> so, isa din ito sa mga mahapag improve. And another one, T is silent. So, meron tayong tinatawag na silent T na sound. So, it usually happens when T is after N. Okay. So, when T comes after N, the T is dropped in many words. So, not all, but many words. So, instead of saying interview, so interview. 
We interview. can hear people saying interview. 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 Okay. Interview. Sorry, the typo. So, um, interstate. 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 International. International. Wanted. International. Wanted. Yeah, printer. Wanted. Printer. Twenty. Twenty. Enter. Twenty. Enter. <laughs> there you go. Enter. Yes. <laughs> so, medyo parang ang sagwash ng pakinggan, but when you're used to it already, then it's, <laughs> it, it's gonna be, um, you're going to be comfortable um, using it. <laughs> I have felt like I'm in a classroom. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This so, is very exciting. Yes. T and hard N. So, if a word ends with 10 and 10, so nagiging hard N na yung T. So... Pag nag-end daw yung word. So, you can you can actually listen to people saying mountain. Instead of saying mountain, mountain. it's mountain. Mountain. Fountain. Mountain. Curtain. Written. Written. Kindergarten. Forgotten. <laughs> yes. So, parang na omit yung sound ng T and then it becomes a hard end. So, mountain. Fountain. 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 Curtain. Button. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So, ito naman, um, T is stop sound. So, when T is, is at the end of the word, okay, it's controlled. So, kung popping yung ating pag first letter si T ng sound, anong word, it's popping, it should be controlled when it's um, on the last part of the word. So, we Filipinos, we tend to overpronounce words. Kasi, di ba, nung bata pa tayo, when we're in school, we're taught na to really say that um fat <laughs> bat bit hot dapat marinig talaga ni teacher t na sound so sa sa practice kasi na ganyan when we do that we we tend to add an additional um excess sound like oh fat fat so nagiging instead of fat nagiging fat Nag siya ng addition. It's it's the usual mistakes of uh, Chinese and Koreans. So they add additional yeah sound because they keep on popping it. So ito controlled lang siya. So dapat instead na in, instead of being fat, so it, we we just say fat, bit, hot, lot. Must lot. controlled siya. Easy lang. <laughs> Matt, Matt, but. but. Mm -hmm. All right. So there, um, masyado lang siyang actually um, um, easy for this one. And here, I'm going to go back on the very first one. Sorry. So, yeah, sabi ko, magpo-focus talaga ako dito sa kanila. So, pronunciation, accent. For you to be able to understand. Kasi hindi mo siya maintindihan kung hindi mo siya alam. So, maintindihan ka nila kung alam mo rin kung paano sabihin yung mga words. So, understand to be under, to understand something and to be understood when speaking. Tandem talaga sila. So, if medyo nahirapan ka sa isa, mahirapan ka din sa pangalawa. Alright? So, you really need to fix your speaking skills from pronunciation the sounds in order to for you to improve your pronunciation because if okay yung pronunciation well if you mastered it then you try to practice and practice the accent will follow okay so hindi kasi ang hirap magkaroon ng parang sagwa paki imagine niyo na lang na oh may accent nga siya pero yung pronunciation niya mali parang Alam mo yung nakakatawa. <laughs> nakakatawa siyang pakinggan. So, our aim is not really to like Americanize or be British when speaking, but to neutralize in order for your uh, listener to understand and also for you to have a good conversation. So, paano ba naman natin ma-overcome ito, yung isang, isang, how do you, feel okay when you are speaking how comfortable are you when speaking <laughs> ito um napakahirap for for a lot of people to speak so imagine spontaneous speaking 
and planned speaking. So planned speaking, minimize mo na kung ano yung dapat mong sabihin, like for speeches and such. For uh, spontaneous, this is actually evident. And parati natin pin practice. Pero dito tayo hirap lahat. Imagine when you're trying to introduce yourself to a client, to your classmate, to to friends whom you know. That's actually a uh, part of spontaneous speaking. Yung biglaan lang, wala sa plano. When you're when introducing free. yourself. Yes. So also when working, this is very important because when giving feedbacks, example, hindi naman talaga, when, when I am a freelancer, hindi naman talaga kailangan maging magaling ka sa, sa communication or English. No. <laughs> Kasi, um, even if your client will not um, require you to have a good pronunciation or to have an American accent, but when you have difficulties communicating, then how would you give feedbacks? How would you ask questions? <laughs> Mahirap ba? So it's it's part of our job to communicate as freelancers. Okay, online and offline, we need to communicate. So spontaneous speaking, how to get over it? Ito lang talaga. We are not we're we're shy to speak and we're not comfortable in speaking because we are too focused on ourselves. <laughs> Bakit ko nasabi yan? Kasi may mga tendency tayo na imbis na yung isipin natin yung topic na pinag-uusapan natin or yung kausap mo na nakikinig ka doon, yung focus ng isip mo habang nagsasalita ka, tama ba yung pronunciation ko? Ano ba yung susunod kong sasabihin? Mali ba to? Or ano ba? <laughs> Am I making any sense? So, in that way, we um, create difficulties um, when trying to communicate. Kasi masyado tayong self-conscious. You can only develop self-confidence if you let go <laughs> of that practice. Okay? Being uh, comfortable in something that you are doing will only happen if and only if you will let go. <laughs> of issues na saying, am I doing it right? So what if nagkamali ka? Okay lang yon. You can practice again. You can you can change it again. Because if you will not start speaking or trying to communicate well, then nothing will change. <laughs> Kahit ituro pa sa'yo ng pinaka the best teacher in the world, lahat ng alam niya, but if you don't do anything about it, then... Is that remember that being shy <laughs> and being uncomfortable is a habit, it's a developed habit. <laughs> um, shy or having mean. stage fright, it's 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 a habit that you've developed because ni nurture mo siya. So, what we need to do is we we try to not nurture that habit of when asked to speak, we curl because we're used to doing that. Okay. Pag bata ka pa, ganun yung ginagawa mo, it, it will become a habit that's hard to change. So, for, for us, especially for, for the ones who are already working, you need to cut that habit by trying to, like, answering or be when active. when you're yeah be active when you're when you're in a meeting even if you're not gonna like talk long enough for what you try to so raise your hand try to say voice out your opinion practice so also kailangan talaga constant practice at home so mag or magkaroon ka ng ano um language buddy <laughs> yeah. kasi kahit basahin mo pa lahat-lahat kasi yung mga Filipinos magaling sa English siguro more on the speaking skills lang tayo sumasablay how we pronounce the words how we we um, connect our thoughts those things but in general Filipinos are really good in speaking so we need to have certain practice because in our schools nowadays we try to explain ideas um, like English subjects Based subjects, we try to explain it in Filipino for others to understand to the extent that when they recite, they also speak in Filipino. So, our students and us in general, we don't have a lot of, 
Philippias uh, practice grounds wherein we can practice speaking in English. So not unless if you will hire a tutor or a coach or have friends who can, um, you can have arrangements wherein you can practice speaking in English, then there is no um, avenue wherein you can really uh, practice speaking. <laughs> so, is that what you're going to do, Sir Dennis? Um, how, how, how do you practice? Okay, so I guess uh, for me, kasi, you really have to allow yourself to practice and it's okay to have mistakes. So, kasi para sa akin, I always uh, tell to my students somehow na if we are having class, this is the right time in the light, right place for you to commit mistakes. Yung kahit na magkamali ka, ito, this is the right time for you na magkamali because uh, as you go along with your studies or your practice, you um, you improve yourself, you become better. Kasi nga, sabi mo nga, Miss uh, Kira, you just have to allow yourself, let it go. Kumbaga, hayaan mo yung sarili mo to express what you feel, what is ma what matter is, how you are going to deliver, and may improve mo talaga yung communication skills mo and also your communication in terms of English. Kasi kailangan mo siyang gamitin the English communication or the language itself for you to to be a better one, sabi nga. So yeah. with that, Miss Kira, I guess we have to entertain some questions. Yeah. So another question... Not another, but a question here from our participants. How to avoid stuttering? Oh, this is really good. So, <laughs> stuttering only happens because you are not familiar or you're not used to pronouncing or saying that word, certain word or sentences. Or you're not um, used to speaking in a certain um, language. Uh, especially in English. So we do stutter a lot or when you are very nervous, okay? <laughs> it causes you. So how to avoid this? So it's actually really okay to talk on a slower pace. Hindi kailangan na masyado mabilis kang magsalita. It's it's not a requirement for you to really speak in uh, speak very fast in English when when talking. Try to slow down on your pace to avoid stuttering. Also, if, if you're really, really nervous, you try to breathe in, breathe out, and then you try to say the words in a very moderate pace or slow pace. It's okay. <laughs> so a, a, good, a good way to, to practice for this one is do um, tongue twisters okay, for the words. And also try to read a book or anything, an article in front of a mirror. Because if you practice that, then you'll get used to speaking and saying words. Then you avoid stuttering. And that's how you overcome it. <laughs> nice. Okay, um, we have a question also here, uh, Ms. Kira. What is the yep. most challenge roles that you have handled in terms of your, or being a ESL teacher? yung mga okay. challenges na na-encounter <laughs> Maybe okay. we are interested to yes. know uh, some of your personal matters. Yeah. So, one of the the most difficult that I actually encounter, the thing that I encountered is teaching beginner students, toddlers, how to speak in English or adult students who are beginner level English because they can only speak Chinese or Korean or Japanese. They cannot understand Filipino. And I cannot speak in Chinese and in Japanese and in Korean. So I can only communicate in English. So that was the most difficult thing because I need to make sure that my students understand what I'm saying and what I'm actually teaching them. <laughs> so one way of doing this is you try to use actions. Very so fine. hello, what is your name there you go so using action so not ways of com no, other right. ways of communication verbal and non-verbal the gestures yes. so this will actually help you <laughs> with that all right Grabe, yeah. dami kong natutunan kay Ms. Kira talaga. so uh miss angeli can you hear me okay so before um 
Miss yes. Angelique uh, will post us something. Uh, Miss Kira, could you please invite our uh, viewers or our FB, FB live viewers if you have something to promote or something that you would like to share, uh, anything that you would like to uh, tell them? Go ahead. Hi, okay. So actually, <laughs> so um, I am actually offering one-on-one um, -on -one trainings for those who would want to improve and develop their speaking skills, especially for those um, um, who are trying to apply for jobs. Um, I'm actually doing one-on-one -on -one coaching for that, how to answer interviews, how to um, yeah, answer interviews and how to introduce yourself properly, how to communicate well, your ideas, giving feedbacks, those things. You can actually learn it um, from one, one of my one-on-one uh, -on -one training. And also, aside from that, I'm also giving um, trainings for those aspiring uh, online teachers. <laughs> if you don't have any... Um, experience teaching online and would want to have training sessions, how to conduct classes, how to give instructions and teaching strategies. I also give that. <laughs> and yes, Popsco, yes, for, for all the, the aspiring online workers, for, for those who are starting up and for those who are already working online, um, be a member of Popsco. It's a very, very nice community to be in. You can um, search for trainings that other trainers actually offer through this group. Thank you, Ms. Kira. Mira, uh, Ms. Kira, how our viewers can reach you? Oh, they can actually reach me through uh, my page. Um, hey, Here um, is Madness. Yes, they could message me on uh, that page. And also on please, our... Uh, give me a uh, screen, uh, share screen your page or... All right, okay. Wait a sec. So let me uh, share my page. So we have a page for my business, I Talk Language <laughs> Training and Tutorial Center. So mostly we focus on language-based training. There you go. There you go. Let me share our page to you guys. So that they can see what is your uh, FB page or your company. Is this your company, Miss Akira? Yes. <laughs> ah, that's why. Okay, there you Perfect. go. Wait a second. I think they can see it now. Yes, uh, we can there see our screen. Yeah. Okay, yeah, but it's being displayed on our okay. screen. Yes. So we do, yes, aside from that, we also do um, have tutorials. Yes, academic tutorials for kids um, starting from elementary to high school from all subjects, especially those who are having troubles understanding their lessons because it's home based now, <laughs> online learning. So you can actually consult on our page uh, for, for tutors <laughs> and inquiries. So with that, um, uh, I talk not only in English, but any subjects, right? Yes, in any subjects in general, mathematics and um, yeah, other subjects. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you for sharing. Ms. And yeah. now, Miss Angelique, please. So we are on our end part of the program or our webinar tonight. So with that, um, this is a way of appreciation.